Yo and hello everybody, Mike here, Baseball Collector. And today, we're going to do the GOAT of the baseball card hobby. And if you don't think that Mickey Mantle is the GOAT of the baseball card hobby, then you haven't been paying attention to, <laughs> for the last, oh, 50, 60 years. Mickey Mantle, such a popular player, played in the for the Yankees. Ironically, when Mantle retired, he was the uh, third player in career home runs, believe it or not. So with 536, obviously since then has been passed by many a person, but at the time, Mantle was pretty great and could have been even greater if he would have been healthy his whole career. And so what I've done is taken my entire Mantle collection of cards and a few autographs and put them out here to show them to you guys. Uh, just, I mean, Mantle is just one of those guys you just gotta have in your collection at least at one mantle, you know. We always say it's never bad to get a Hank Aaron. Well, it's never bad to own Mickey Mantle cards either. So I'm gonna go through what I have and show them to you and uh, yeah. Let's start at the top up here with the oldest card, Mantle's last card. He has uh, two versions of this, the 1969 tops. He's got a name in yellow and then you can see the much more rare uh, name in white on the right. Glad to have those. Picked up the name in white at a really great time. Just good timing on that. And yeah, it's a super pricey card now. By the way, I did the math and all of the stuff you're going to see today is worth, you know, the current value is well over 50 grand. So it's a lot of, Mantle just has a lot of value in the hobby. And that's just true now and true probably forever. Here's a 68 base tops over there. I bought that card as a kid. Sent it in myself to get slabbed up. That was actually that mantle there is the 68 base. Number 280 is the first mantle card I ever owned when I was probably 12 or 13 years old. So long time ago. On the right, you'll see this one and many more. Mantle was used by Tops in several combo cards with other players. This is one of the greatest, the superstars from 1968 with Mays and Killebrew. I just love that card. In 68, he also has a Topps game. I, lo I love that set, super affordable. So if you're looking for Mantle, that's one way to do it. Uh, there's his 67 base and then his 67 checklist card that I have. For some weird reason, I have that. Uh, 66, he's only got one card, the base card. Uh, three and a half on that one. The grades on all these are gonna be incredibly consistent. Two, three, fours. Maybe the occasional five, like this 1965 tops. Definitely uh, not normal to have higher grades in Mantle just because of the price. So there's that. He's Mantle Clutch Homer in the World Series. And then probably the ugliest set tops has ever created. I know there's people out there that love it. I think it's hideous. The 65 tops embossed looks nothing like any of the players. It's like this profile weird gold thing. But I have the mantle for that. Coming back over, we've got the 64. There you see my highest graded base mantle card in a seven on the 64 tops. Then AL Bombers, Marisk, Norm Cash, Mantle, and K Line. So two Hall of Famers there. 63, he's got uh, his base card. And then Bombers Best with Tom Tresh and Bobby Richardson. 62. Mantle had several, his base card there, all-star card, which is a great card. And then uh, another great <laughs> combo card, manager's dream, no doubt. That would be true if you were a manager, you'd want Willie Mays and Mickey Mantle in your outfield for sure. And then a switch hitter connects subset in 62 tops there, like highlights kind of thing. 61, you've got the base card and a five. A World Series homer, which Mantle, you know, has 18 World Series homers, which is, I still believe, the record. Uh, he was an amazing player in the clutch in the postseason and led the, the Yankees to many World Series. But there's one from the 61 World Series. They actually lost that World Series to the, the 60 World Series. They lost to the Pirates, I believe, so... Then you've got uh, Mantle blasting a 565-foot home run. A little subset 
Uh, I think that was at Griffith Park in Washington. So there's that. Now we get over to 60 tops. We got the base card there. The wonderful all-star card for 60 tops. A card called Rival All-Stars with Ken Boyer. 59, you've got some great stuff. You've got the base card on the left and the All-Star card, love that too. Baseball Thrills. 58, the Mantle regular card. The All-Star card, very affordable, triple printed by top, so you can get that for easy. So then we move over to the 58 tops World Series batting foes. Great card there with Hank Aaron. I mean, how awesome is that? And then in 57, his base card, which is highly sought after, and the Yankees power hitters. So, yeah, there's that. Coming back over here. The beautiful 56 tops. It's one of those classic all-time great cards. How can you not love that? Mine's in a two. I've had it a long time, and this card's just gotten prohibitively expensive. So has this one, the 55 Bowman. Super pricey. Glad I've had it for a long time and got it early. 54 Bowman. All these. <laughs> I get to say that repeat, uh, super expensive. 53 Bowman I got last year, actually, uh, at the National, thanks to JT, Triple Crown 24. Found this for me. I was on the hunt for this card particularly and was looking at a bunch of them, and JT found me one that was acceptable. And I've got the first combo card, I think, uh, maybe ever, really, is the 53 Bear Bauer Mantle, and Mantle's sliver of his face is barely there. But great young picture of Mickey Mantle. And then, of course, the holy grail of Mickey Mantle cards. Forget about the 52 tops, which I don't have, so maybe I'm just bitter about that. But to me, the greatest Mantle card is the 51 Bowman color, or 51 Bowman. Of course, it's in color. I mean, mine is a PSA 5. Never get tired of looking at this card. I think even now it's an incredibly undervalued card compared to where the 52 tops is. And I and I love the 52 tops. I'd love to own one someday. I will own one someday, but I still just love that so much. The Mantle Rookie. Mantle had several cards, you know, issued post-playing days. Uh, 96, there was this commemorative card after he passed away. It was put in the top set. And then I have this 2012. I happened to pull a gold mantle and send it in to be graded. Came back a nine. Mantle autographs, I have eight or nine in my collection. Uh, this one's important, the Hall of Fame Heroes, because I just love it. Uh, I've got like a... Bunch of bigger stuff with Mantle's autograph, like this 8x10. And then I've got a couple of Perez Steels. I've got his Celebration, his Masterworks. One of his Masterworks, he's got five cards in that set. And then last but not least, the 64 Tops Giants. Another great card if you want to pick up a Playing Days Mantle. It's a little bit bigger, but that is that. So there you go, guys. There's the whole Mantle run. Hope you enjoyed. Let me know what you think down below. I'll talk to you soon. Keep collecting.